Hello, welcome to the 340 video about updating PCD files and common errors found in schematic files. So to start out with, on the schematic file, it looks mostly done, but you'll see it has these red squiggly lines. These are common errors found that I've seen while doing my own PCBs. Um, and what these ones are specifically, these are, it only shows up once in the schematic. So you get an error because like the signal goes nowhere, it just stops right there. So we're gonna, if you were to try to update your PCB design, you'll see that warning errors occurred during confirmation. You can click here and you get a list of all the errors found during it. You'd have to close out, click through all these, they'll show you where they're all at, and then you will be able to fix them. Um, but I've already taken the liberty of making a second circuit that will fix some of those errors, except for all the resistors are not named. And when all the resistors have the same name, it makes it so that you have an error. Okay, and now this looks okay, but if you look at the op amps right here, it's U1A and U question mark B. What we want it to be is both U1. So if I double click the op amp and I relabel it U1, then I will have them both on the same op amp. Um, you make sure that it's B right here. If it's not B on the second stage, third stage, you can change the parts, part A, B, C. If you add part A, you get an error. Um, but we want part B. So now we go design, to PCB. You can validate the changes and execute. And it brings all the parts onto the PCB.